从事的行业是 I, ？I'm a professor. 从事这个行业几年了 ？I've been doing it for a year and a half. 喜欢自己的工作吗 ？Yes and no. 你经常加班吗 ？Overtime, not officially, but I work a lot outside of class. 对工资满意吗 ？No. <laughs> 工作重要还是家庭重要 ？Job is more important. 再给你一次机会，还会选择这个工作吗 ？Um, yeah. 觉得自己工作时哪个时刻最帅？ I would say never because teaching is not glamorous at all. It's very difficult to work in America. Um, I want to end my job when I can afford to buy a farm. My name is Gavin Tail. I'm from um, Scotland, Edinburgh, um, and I moved here to America when I was 18. I currently teach uh, digital video at uh, City College. Okay, so it's um, eight o'clock, and I'm heading to school. Um, it's a Saturday morning, um, so unfortunately, my class is at nine thirty every Saturday. So I do wake up super, super early. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle trying to fall asleep on Friday night, just because I'm so used to um, going to sleep at like two o'clock in the morning. So, um, teaching on a Saturday morning has been a bit of an adjustment for me. I am currently an adjunct. An adjunct basically um, is kind of just like a part-time position. You don't get a salary, you basically just get paid by the hour. You don't get as many benefits when you're an adjunct. And basically, it's just like a video class for beginners. Um, I mainly teach uh, Premiere Pro and um, After Effects. I have to show them my ID. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Thank you. And this is my classroom. Oh. Um. <laughs> Where there are many food. So this is my last class teaching. I think uh, this scene. Um, I know it's probably just a time issue, but you can make it more dynamic by actually making the camera move forward. Because right now, you can't really see it they're running. If you made the camera like move forward, it would create a sense of direction for dogs. So we just wrapped up um, the last class of the semester, and that's why there's so much food here. Um, Basically, in the last class, uh, we have a screening of everybody's projects. And um, I also ask students to bring in food, basically just so we can kind of share uh, food while we're watching all these videos, but also um, to also give them some extra credit. Um, it's just like a way of like letting like people who are maybe like falling behind in terms of their grade to just catch up a little bit. Um, but yeah, just make sure not only is the pre comma 3D, but the layers inside the pre comma 3D too, yeah. When I, the first time I actually got this job, um, I was still a student in my grad program. And basically the reason why they asked me to uh, become a teacher is because um, I got asked to um, replace a teacher. In like the 10th week of the semester, uh, he, um, he basically left his students like in limbo. And this was near the end of the semester and like the students had no teacher. And so basically that's why they asked me to come in and replace him. The first class was really terrible. I think not even just me, but anybody like when like, they first start teaching, it's just so stressful and uncomfortable. And I just remember coming to class and like, I don't know, I just got really like shaky all of a sudden. And I think like my voice, my accent re reverted back to British <laughs> and for some like reason and I don't know, it just kind of like made the entire first day just really like awkward, but it does get better. The pack that you made for me, it's exactly like what you actually wrote in the pre-production packet. So it makes me realize that you had a vision and you went through with it, so I appreciate it. I'm, I mean, I actually don't really know how my first semester like students feel. 
I don't think it would have been that positive. I definitely recognize that I've improved a lot. Uh, I think he's very good because he's more flexible, that you can do your own ideas and put it in there to do it. I actually enjoyed the class a lot. He's really amicable. He really breaks things down quite easily. He, when he sets up assignments, the mini assignments that we do, it goes in depth with uh, the steps that it takes to, to use the program. So I, I found myself learning a lot from the small activities that we had to do. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> so I, um, I quite like my job. I mean, I think it's, like I said, it's very rewarding when you get to know students and you see their work and you see their growth throughout the semester. Um, but at the same time, it's very tiring. To be honest, actually, there wasn't actually that much help available, which I think, again, is an effect of the public school system. So in that respect, I, a lot of the stuff is just me preparing myself. I've not worked in private school, but I've been in the private school environment I recently uh, was a visiting artist to the new school. The energy is just very different there. To be honest, at the public schools, you basically have a lot of responsibility. There's not a lot of funding. I get paid the lowest wage, which is around $70 an hour. Even though it might sound like quite a lot, it doesn't factor in the fact that I do a lot of work outside of those hours, including making the syllabus and grading assignments. I only get paid those by the hour for the hours that I actually am in the classroom. All of CUNY, not just say College, but all the CUNY campuses, all adjunct is getting paid very badly. That's been a big issue because, like I said, we put in a lot of extra hours beyond class time. And that has kind of led to a lot of protests in the, in the past few months. Uh, becoming an adjunct first before going full time is pretty much it's not maybe the only path, but I think it's like the most common way to become a full-time professor. Very rarely would you ever get hired to just be a full-time professor immediately. And it's also very hard for like um, international students, uh, international people to get hired on a full-time basis just because of our visas and stuff. A lot of the time they don't, like um, the admin don't really show compassion because they don't really understand that we have an extra baggage of like trying to like figure out our visa situation and not just teaching as well. So I actually um, asked my boss if, if she could sponsor me uh, for H1B and she said no. She said that um, they only do sponsorship for a full-time faculty and she said even if full-time faculty, even that is very rare. Um, the chance of me getting it is basically zero. Um, I think when you're an adjunct, you are a little bit more disposable, which is unfortunate. I decided not to do it next semester because um, it takes a lot of my time out of, my, of what I can do. And right now, even though I only teach one class and it's technically only three hours a week, um, it doesn't factor in the fact that you have to plan a lot. You have to like write the syllabus, you have to grade, you have to prepare assignments, and that takes up a lot of time during the week. So um, I just want a bit more of that time back to myself. Go. Please subscribe to Mei Gua Hua Ren Chuan, stepping into Chinese-American careers in the United States. I am adjunct professor Gavin Taylor.